Hi guys, welcome to Digital Tech Join. I hope everybody is doing good. And today in this video tutorial, I am going to show you how to set up SFTP on cloud using Azure portal. Now, in this video tutorial, I am going to cover storage account. Now, if anybody is new to Azure portal, I recommend that you visit my playlist known as the Azure Total over here, Azure Microsoft Azure tutorial, and I will list up tutorials that I have created where I walk you through how to create a free account in Azure and then also um, how to set up a VM and storage account and also deploy your ASP.NET application that uses SQL Server database as a backend on Azure portal. Not only that, this playlist also contains how to use Web API and upload your files on Azure portal using Web API. So there are a lot of uh, tutorials that is really helpful for someone who is really new to Microsoft Azure. Okay, so now let's get started. So I'll open my Azure portal and set up an SFTP that will be used to transfer a file securely within the network. So click on Microsoft Azure portal, click on sign in. Now since I've already logged in, it is redirecting me to the dashboard. Now here I'm going to either search storage account or I can see it from my left hand side menu and right over here or I can use this Azure services which has the common service of storage account. So click on storage account. Now when you click on storage account, you will be presented with a list of storage account or folders that is created in your portal. However, there is no storage account right now displayed because I have not created one. So let's go ahead and click on create. So first is a subscription. I have my default subscription and then I'm going to select my resource group. So all this, what is subscription, what is resource group is all available in my tutorials uh, that are specially created for Microsoft Azure portal and for beginners. So please do watch. Now, once you select the subscription and resource group, you need to provide the storage folder name. So here I'm going to say digital tech join sftp demo so this is the folder name that i've created by default i'm going to keep it as central india and standard here i'm going to select a local redundant storage and you may go ahead with the global geo redundant for much availability where your data will be spread across multiple regions but for demo i'm going to select local redundant storage and click on next now here, if you if you want your storage to be accessed using REST API, then and securely, then you need to select this option. Uh, so I'm just leave it as it is. Uh, then you need to select enable hierarchy namespace. Once you select that, you will get an option called enable SFTP. You select that. So this is the access style. So I'm going to select OT that is frequently accessed data. And here this option enable large file shares as only enabled when you have large files to be transferred in TBs. So I'm going to keep this unticked. Now click on networking that is next and then I'm going to select enable public access obviously because I want the storage SFTP to be publicly accessible. And also in this tutorial I'm going to show you once you set up this SFTP how can you download various client tool like Win scp or filezilla or Qt ftp to connect to your storage and upload file from your client side so i'm going to cover that as well click on microsoft so let this option be enabled by default click on next uh, this is basically if you want to just secure your you know uh, data uploaded on the storage for example you need to enable soft delete where if you accidentally delete it will be still available for the, the days specified over here so you write down as uh, 7 but you can specify 30 or uh, 10 or whatever according to requirement similarly for the containers now containers are nothing but once you create a storage account we are going to create a container and within the container we will see all those files that are uploaded in our sftp so even if you accidentally delete the container you will be able to recover if you enable these options Similar, you can also recover files that are uploaded and deleted accidentally using this option as well. So now as of now for the demo, I'm going to untick all these things and then I'm going to click on encryption. I'm going to keep the default encryption provided by Microsoft and if you have your own uh, customer keys, you can select this option. Now I'm going to select the property like blob and files only. So I'm going to leave as it is. 
click on tag if you want to specify tag you can do that click on review now it is validating over here see and there is validated and i'm going to create click on the create button and now you can see it is get, deploying your digital tech join sftp demo folder in your storage account which is sftp enabled that i'm going to show you further how do you configure your user and container and then once that's done i will show you how to use any client to connect to your sftp folder and upload files so deployment is in progress you can see it is done and let's click on go to resource and here is a folder storage created now if you click on home and click on storage you will see that one account is already created over here i'm just going to click on refresh and here you can see the folder storage folder is created this is a storage account uh, this is a group and location now we'll click on the storage account now once you click on the storage account on your left hand side you scroll down and here there's an option called under settings called sftp click on that and now you can see it gives the option to create add local users so we need to add a user so that added user has the rights to connect and upload the files as well as download so click on add local user i'm going to say alex and here there's two options to connect to your storage either ssh password or ssh key pair you can select both or i'm not going to select ssh password click on next now here you can see the container now container is nothing but under the storage there is a container where all your files will be visible one whatever files you uploaded that ca it can be visible in the container and from there you can download as well so i'm going to create a new container and i'm going to say test container and i'm going to leave the access as private and click on ok and plus i'm going to provide all the access and click on add so you can see the container is added and here it shows you ssh password that you need to copy so i'm going to copy it and i'm going to open my notepad and paste the password now you can see my sftp now as an option of um, the username so i'm just show it to you so once the sftp user is created and the container is created you can see in, under the sftp you are able to see the username alex which i created so i'm going to copy that and save it so this is sorry so this is my username then this is the connection string very important i click on this and i copy this container name and this is the if you want to regenerate the ssh password you click on this option so now once i copy this i go to the container and this is the container name i just copy this right now this container won't have any files i come to the notepad now here you can see the connection string has this container name so you just replace that with your container so now this is my username and this is my host this is my container username and this is my password so we have all the connection string defined over here so right now you can see there is no folder files or folder in this test container so now let's go ahead and download the client so now i'm going to use win scp now win scp is a well-known you know open source file ssh file transfer protocol this is a small tool that enables the client to connect to your sftp or ftp directory on the cloud and upload or download the files you can use win scp or you can use filezilla both are good so you can use this well as well in this demo i'm going to use win scp i have downloaded that win scp and it is available in my system so i don't going to open the win scp yeah, so here you can see the win scp directory is here right over here so what i'm going to do is that i'm going to you know uh, create a new tab so this is my new tab yeah so now you can see it is prompt that what protocol you want to connect so i'm going to say sftp obviously i want to secure file transfer now it asks for the host so here my host will be this is my host before the at the rate 
no sorry this will be my host after that the rate will be my host okay and this will be under 22 port because this is secure my username will be the one before the other it specified in the connection so this is my username you can see it is a storage name then is a container name and there is a username and the password right over here i'm going to copy this password i'm going to paste it if you want to save this connection you can save it right now i'll do a login you can see it is prompting that you know you are going to get connected i'm going to say yes and yes successfully connected and here you can see there is nothing right now so i'm going to just upload this file ppt in this directory right click and i say upload so it's saying you want to upload yes yes it's uploaded right away so if you go to your azure portal now you should be able to see the ppt under your container i'm going to click on the storage file here in the test container and here you can see it is successfully uploaded the files over here okay so similarly you can also download it so download just right click on it and if you say download it will get downloaded in your directory where you want it so i just want to select so desktop I click on ok click on and it will download it so now if you just go to this desktop you can see it's already downloaded the file so i've shown you how to upload as well as download i'll just upload one or two files just for, just to show you so so these are just templates i'll just okay so I'm going to select the screenshot and upload it. So just both the screenshot and upload it. Here is getting uploaded. Here right away. Let go to our Azure portal and refresh it. And here you can see the files are getting uploaded. So great. So we are successfully able to create a storage SFTP folder in Microsoft Azure as well as connect it through our client that is WinSCP. So I hope guys you like this video. Uh, please do comment like the video and and please do subscribe my channel please do share my channel link with your friend family and colleague and help us to grow our digital tech join channel thank you so much